Hi, and welcome to this screencast on getting started with iMovie. iMovie is a great movie making app that gives students an opportunity to use their iPad to produce videos that document, demonstrate, and share their learning experiences. During this screencast, we will cover the basics of iMovie. So let's open up our iMovie app. And to get to iMovie, you're going to be looking for this icon. So once you open the app, you will see three main views across the top. Video, Projects, and Theater. When I tap on the first one, the Video tab, on the Video Browser, this one allows you to browse all the videos that are on your device. You can select a video clip, mark it as a favorite, by tapping the heart, you can see here, and then you can, it's indicated by that green line that pops up on my film on, on, my, on the side. You can share it or you can start a new iMovie project from this browser. So if I tap here, this gives me all the different ways I can share this video with others. The next tab is my project tab. All right, in my project browser, this is where you can either create new iMovie trailers or iMovie projects. And you can see your projects that you have created in the past here. It's kind of like your little dashboard. The third tab is my iMovie theater browser. And here's where we'll find any movies that have been saved to the theater. Now, whenever you're ready to begin a project in iMovie, you're going to go into the projects browser first, and then you will select the project. You'll click your plus sign to create a project. You have two different choices here. You can either choose iMovie or a trailer. Trailers will allow you to use a storyboard template that will serve as a guide in assisting you with creating short professional Hollywood style movie trailers. The longest trailer is about a minute and 34 seconds. And as you can see here, they give you a good bit of themes here, down here to choose from. And these are best used to summarize or show highlights from projects, activities such as labs, or even events in history. So when you have those kinds of assignments for your students, this would be a good choice for that. So just to give you a quick view of what a story, the storyboard looks like. And you'll see here, you can just drop those in, drop the images in and video. And it's very, very simple. And then an upcoming screencast, I'll show you more on that. Now, projects. We'll tap on that. Here, these allow you to make longer videos. You'll start your project with choosing a theme, a blank timeline, and you have the option of adding videos, images, and audio along with transitions. So if I tap Create Movie, and you'll see here I have a blank timeline on the bottom. But then you'll see here I have choices of themes, music, and audio, uh, music, videos, images, and all that along with transitions. So there are so many ways to use iMovie in the classroom, and we will cover them in upcoming screencasts. So that you're going to also be able to learn more about iMovie trailers and iMovie projects. I hope you've enjoyed this session on getting started with iMovie, and if you have any more questions or you need assistance, don't hesitate to contact me at elivingston at oregonschools.net or your digital integration specialist. Thank you.